Um, there's a lot of money that just goes to buying school lunches, generally speaking, that I know sometimes my family and other families might not have. It's very important to pass this bill for people in our community, especially because, you know, at Hopkins and at surrounding schools and just schools all in our state that there's a lot of people that simply aren't as fortunate and they will go hungry. Like I used to go hungry. They will, you know, not perform well in classes. They will lack energy, lack focus, and sort of be outcasted by their school as bad students simply because they weren't given the resources to perform their best when they're at school. I know me personally, even when I wasn't doing free lunch, it was more money coming out of our pockets because we would have to um, make our own lunches at home and it was a bit of a hassle. So I know that if it was free lunch at school for everyone, there are a lot of students who won't have to worry about the hassle of trying to figure out what they're gonna eat for lunch if they can't afford it or um, just being hungry in general. People have relied on paying for their lunches throughout this whole like pandemic era. So I feel like once it, it comes back to where you have to pay for a full standard lunch, it's going to like affect some people because some people can't afford to continuously pay for lunch like every single day. It's really important that we do pass this bill and that we give the bare minimum and just make sure that every student is fed and they're fed not by their own dime. They're just given the right to be fed. For like a really long time, I was definitely like kind of like I mentioned before, almost embarrassed about like having free lunch. Like, I mean, that's the way I grew up. Seeing people get bullied for that, like people making jokes about that. Like I've always been on free and reduced lunch. And like, it's given me food some days when I may not have necessarily like had any. For my friends to be able to get that too, um, with COVID right now, um, it's free and reduced lunch for everybody at school. And I think that's really great. I think like that gives more people, like people more opportunities to eat. You know, they don't feel the need to worry about having to go in the lunch debt. This is what one family came to us with to pay for their meal. It's pennies and nickels and a couple of dimes. They scraped up everything that they had. I just want to say that there is a lot that can change in the education system, but meeting the bare minimum for students is the single most important thing that any legislator or any coordinator or administrator could do. And I feel like feeding, making sure students have access to food, water, you know, basic safety at their school, all of that is very important to making a learning environment safe and healthy for all students. So passing this bill and passing other bills like this one would allow those bare minimums to be met. And from those, more things can be built on top.